everyone, welcome back. So this is part 2 where I try out a recipe from this book that I got from Book Access which is um, Jackfruit and Blue Ginger Asian Favourites Make Vegan by Sasha Gill. Um, this is normal price is 120 ringgit but right now if you get it from Book Access it is 75% off so it's 29.90. Hello Lole Ping. Okay let me just fix the audio yeah okay so um in part one we have done part of the cooking so now we're coming to part two so let's see what's happening it's looking good yeah it's looking good good all right so i have bring to boil then simmer for about 10 minutes so the vegetable are thin enough all right okay let me just bring you guys over here so you can see what's going on Oh, I forgot to close the door. Am I supposed to? Anyway, I tasted it. The broth tastes great. So I'm excited. Um, bring the boil simmer until better. Next, add sugar, soy sauce, grated apple, edamame. Okay. So I'm going to put in the grated apple. So this is like one Fuji apple grated, yeah. So I guess I'll put in the um yeah I'll put in the mushrooms as well. We're doing this for two minutes. Although let me think. No, it's still gonna simmer. Oh okay, I'll put in the mushrooms at the very 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 end. Alright, so we have put in the apples. Oh and the sugar. So I'm using organic kill dip powder. I'm keeping this sugar free but it's all natural date powder you can go to organicule.com to get it sometimes if you're lucky i have a discount so yeah so i'm putting in one tablespoon and then we'll put in the soy sauce as well one tablespoon as well the edamame yet because the edamame is really cooked so we'll put that in later yeah i'm excited it's beginning to really look like uh japanese curry and i love making japanese curry i need to make it more okay so we're just gonna let this cook for another two minutes Okay, two minutes. I'm putting this at 100 degrees. Right, move around. So yeah, we are trying out a recipe from this book. Okay, so I'm going ginger. Oh, I can't remember where I stopped. Next thing I need to put, like, I know I showed this. I showed the Chinese ones. I'm sure the thunder tea rice will be king jackfruit cake. Peanut melt away cookies. Mango pudding. Hong Kong egg tarts I showed you. So I guess we're in Japan. For teriyaki tofu. Nice baked tempura. That's the Japanese curry making. Oh, omelette rice. So she's using tofu for the omelette. Tofu, soy milk, chickpea, chickpea flour. Summer Chawan Moshi. Ooh, I used to love having this. Hmm. I think I should make this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, pumpkin katsu dong. Ooh, ramen. Man. So this is one I want to make. Can you give me sushi? I used to make a lot of sushi last time. Make raw vegan sushi. Onigiri! Okonomiyaki. I also have a raw vegan okonomiyaki recipe as well. Maybe I should revisit that. Miso caramel or veg. Yeah, everybody makes this. <laughs> Yaki soba stir fry. Nice! It's all the, the, the ones. Oh! Spicy tuna hummus. Nice, nice. Red bean pancakes. 
strawberry mochi. Ooh, mochi. Yeah. Chocolate goes up. Okay. Alright. So now, you see, scoop a ladle or two of the brown into a blender, tip in the toasted flour and blend until smooth and lump free. So yeah, that's the thing, right? Um, I'm actually not going to use... Um, uh, okay, she uses plain flour and she asked to preheat oven to 20 Celsius, sift flour onto baking tray, toast until brown and all that for 3 tablespoons, but I prefer not to use flour, uh, plain flour, so I, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to try using coconut flour, although, okay, uh, but this coconut flour is like, quite a strong coconut taste. Actually, you should use oat flour or um, buckwheat groats also, yeah. But you know what? Let me see how thick it is. Because if it's thick enough, we don't even really need that, right? Oh, super thick. Yeah. I mean, you put that in, it's more authentic lah. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Because I feel like if I put in the... Yeah, because I have sweet potato that is making it thick, actually. Because I find like if I put the coconut, the taste will be different. I do have some buckwheat flour. I'll put in some buckwheat flour. Will it thicken up? I don't know. Yeah, buckwheat. So she actually asked you to put it in a blender and whisk it, but I'm not going to bother because I realized that ah, this is going to turn anyway. So we'll do this. So one tablespoon buckwheat flour. I've just sprouted this buckwheat. And then after that, I grind it up two tablespoons. And because this is like about half a tablespoon. Okay. So it still says simmer until thick and saucy about five minutes. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this one in because initially I took it out because I thought we were gonna, you know, cook it. I mean, blend it up, but you know what? We don't need to. Yeah. I'm only going to put in the, yeah, these two later. And I'm sure for the mushrooms, the residual heat will cook it through anyway. So I'll put it at 95. And I'm going to simmer for 5 minutes. So, alright, let's see what else there is here. Wow, it's super hot. I'm going to show, yeah, show you guys this big tempura, Japanese curry. Show you this really. Hello, Madam Yap. Oh, it's, I think we're ending soon. Economiyaki, I show you this as well. Show you this. This one, I chocolate custard matcha bread. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, she uses custard powder. Oh, so mix and match leftovers. Ah, oh, interesting. So she says you can make the. Guapao with sweet potato belly. Mm -hmm. You know what, I'm gonna sit because I'm super tight. <sighs> Alright, so 
You can make the kuah pao with sweet potato belly. Hopefully, it enhances the sauce. Uh, spicy tuna hand rolls, spare rice, make hand rolls filled with aubergine unagi. Hmm. Combat tempura. Oh, onigiri! Yeah, spare. Ah! Red bean pancakes, okay. Taking the. Oh, this is not very clear, sorry. I think it's just not very bright. Satay, use dressing for just salad. Hong Kong egg tart, spare, spare pastry, so you can. Let's see, Jen, drizzle or something, oh yeah. Rice noodles, mix it up. Oh yeah, sorry, I'll be joking. Normal rice, banana waffles, mango and mango. Oh, there's a mango summer rose. Nice. Oh, huh. I like your suggestion. And then you have eight proper index. Ooh. And then she says thank you. Yeah. Hello, Tessa. Here we go. Okay. Let me see. Ah. Oh. Oh, interesting. Oh, funny. We're cooking like a rice beef bun. Why is it? Why is it like this? Why does it give you a bad taste of food poisoning? I don't understand. Hmm. So she has pancakes on shows. All right, we're just gonna wait for this for a bit. Um, I'm just gonna tie this up. I want to add in the mushrooms now. Just waiting for it to allow me to do so. Okay. So let's see, is it thicker? Yeah, slightly thicker. So cool. Although I don't know whether like the Japanese curry, can you actually see the grated um can you actually see the grated? Um, what is it? Ah, okay, put it in the edible. The grated mushrooms? No mushrooms. Who is late? <laughs> the grated apples. Okay, mushrooms is not in the recipe, but it's because I had mushrooms and I didn't want to waste it, so I thought like let's just put it in. And I've known. I, I was reading somewhere else, the lady said they put mushrooms as well, for the vegetable ones, so... Alright, we'll let this stir for one more minute. Oh, it's 40 seconds actually. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, I'm going to flip this back. Taste this. I 
I need to spoon it out, but ah, my. Let's do the taste test first. Where's my spoon? Oh, okay. Great, we're back. I was like, how did we just like? Okay, I'm scooping it out, but you know what? Let's do a date taste test. Hello, one X June. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hmm. That's good. I wonder whether I can taste the buckwheat or not. Mmm. Okay, it's good. Mmm. Ooh, I like the curry. Ooh, it's spicy. Yeah, it's spicy. I'm gonna try the mushrooms a bit. It's nice. I'm so glad I made it. Oh! Mmm! Yay! I like this a lot. Ah, hello, I'm so mad. Good to see you. Okay, we'll scoop it out. Because I want to take pictures. So you can see the actual product. I miss my ring light. Um, can I put it down here? It's so good. Mr. Jeff's guitarist will really like this. I suppose serve it with rice, but we're gonna serve it with quinoa later. Not later, but yeah. Okay, it's nice and thick. Okay, um, and then. Oh, 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 wait. So we need to garnish with some spring onions. I've said that my spring onions um, are not very fresh, unfortunately. I'm a bit like, ugh, how am I? And then sesame seeds. So I'm doing both white and black. Yay, it's so exciting. I mean, all right, so there you go, recipe from jackfruit and blue ginger, get the book from book excess, I think this is going to be like one of my favorite books, there's the Japanese curry, because I like so many of the recipes, let me just zoom in, Japanese curry, Japanese curry, Woo! Slow connection. Yeah. All right. Thank 
Thanks so much for watching and remember to get your check out all the vegan books or the veg vegan and vegetarian cookbooks at Book Access. I'll see you guys another time.